Diecast Masters has been entirely focused on its Caterpillar license. But at the Nuremberg Toy Fair in 2018, they showed some prototypes of truck models. And here is the first one, it's the International HX520 Tandem Tractor with an XL120 low profile HDG trailer. As you can see the packaging is very high quality starting with an outer shipping carton, then a coloured sleeve and finally this box. There's a small leaflet describing one of the features of the model and there are some parts held in a top plastic former. Looking inside the box there's some high quality foam and there are the first parts of the model. And when we get to the bottom layer, there's the trailer. To start with, the International comes with two different exhaust pipes, so you can have bent or straight. For this review we'll go with bent pipes, and they're very easy to install, they just press into the top of the exhaust stacks. Once we've fitted those, the only other thing we need to do is to fit the oversized load sign, and that presses in at the top. To connect up the tractor and trailer, it's slightly different from other truck models, and you need to drop the kingpin into the hole in the fifth wheel. For the basic configuration, the only thing to add is another oversized load sign. <laughs> Starting underneath the International and the detailing looks very good. The engine, gearbox and transmission are all modelled. And a nice touch is the soft mud flaps. Another good detail is the tyres on the driven and steering axles are different. Also looking good are the tanks and the parts of the exhaust system. At the front the grille is very nicely formed and there's a tiny badge at the top. And both the lights and the bumper look good too. There's no number plate because it's a generic truck and the wheels are also nicely detailed. On top of the cab there are air horns and a chrome visor, and the plastic mirrors also look smart. And just so you can see the difference, here are the straight exhaust pipes. The chrome exhaust stacks are also very good because they've got texture, the door handle is well formed, and the various steps all have a textured surface. Behind the cab there's a light bar on the roof and plenty of chrome bling, but there are no coiled air lines. At the back the wheel arches are also chromed, the lights are painted and the mud flaps have a logo on them. Moving on to the trailer and looking underneath the structure's well formed, and some of the detailing around the axles seems good. Just like elsewhere there are nice soft mud flaps. The gooseneck seems to be an all metal part and the highlighting is the sharp graphics printed on it. These graphics continue down the edge of the deck, and the small outriggers are part of the casting rather than separate parts. Up on top the plastic replica timbers look very good, and the deck has got a nice convincing pre-camber. Moving to the rear axles and there's a textured surface on top, and the plastic wheels are detailed. Particularly good looking at the back is the array of lights, and the XL name is on the mud flaps. Two boosters are included, a one axle and a two axle, and they have some detailing around the axles, but there's no drop leg jack. The rear axles of the International spin freely, and there's working steering at the front. Let's go out onto the Cranes Etc test track, and it rolls along very nicely. We can set the steering to see what angle we get, and as you see, it is fairly shallow. Just in case you thought there wasn't an engine driving it along, we can tilt the hood. And there is the engine made up of a number of different coloured components. Moving on to the trailer and at the rear the axles spin freely. And things are more interesting at the gooseneck end. Where you can flip a part over and get an extended gooseneck if you want it. And you can relocate the kingpin's position. But in the existing configuration there's enough space to fully turn the tractor under the gooseneck. Another feature is that you can adjust the angle although it won't pose up high. Two boosters are included with the model and they allow the trailer to carry a heavier load. There's a one axle and a two axle and they both fit in the same way by just clipping on at the back. And then all you have to do is to relocate the oversized load sign onto the booster. Both boosters also have the same functionality in that they can steer across the pivot point. But if you want you can lock that by placing a pin in. Although none of the pins and screws supplied with the model are quite the right fit. 
The other thing the boosters lack is a jack leg so they can stand up. With this tractor and trailer combination from Diecast Masters you now have a ready way to transport your caterpillar equipment. And if you're lazy you can load it on using a giant hand crane. The other nice bit of functionality on the trailer is that we can actually load it up properly. And to do that we need to disconnect the gooseneck from the trailer. It is just clipped on and by rotating that clip you can then pull out the gooseneck from the trailer. And because it's not realistic to have the gooseneck held in the sky by a giant hand, we'll put it back onto the tractor. We can then fold over the small plastic ramps. And then we can drive up the load that we want to put on board. In this example we'll use a rough terrain crane straight from the factory and that's certainly a significant load for this trailer. But anything is possible on cranes etc as we drive the crane on board using all the skill you've come to expect. One thing that is good to note is that even with a heavy load on board all of the wheels remain grounded. As this is a new truck trailer combination let's do a dim check. And in standard configuration it's nearly 18 inches or 45 centimeters long. With the one axle booster it's 21 inches or 54 centimeters. And two axles it's 22 inches or 57 centimeters. It's good to see a new model of an American truck and trailer combination. And for a first truck model Diecast Masters has done well. It's a well presented model with a good standard of detailing and the functionality gives it plenty of display options. It's a nice model which all things considered is very good. Mm -hmm. 